Well, today is June 1st, and I want to take a quick look back at the month of May because, you know, we saw quite a lot of days in May where we saw temperatures well above normal. We had a couple of 90 degree days in May, but we also saw a few days where we saw extra cooler weather. You know, we started off the month of May actually on a bit of a warm stretch where we saw May 2nd being about 15 degrees above normal, but then just a couple days later on May 5th, we were 15 degrees below normal. So May was kind of a back and forth month, especially in that first half. The second half of the month was a little bit more stable. We saw a good stretch of days in a row where we had temperatures well above normal for this time of year. And then we closed out the month of May pretty much right where we should be. Overall, we saw 14 days that were above average in the month of May. We saw 10 days that were right around normal, and we saw seven days that were below normal. So when you look at the entire month in the grand scheme of things, you would say that it was a pretty average month. Now, as we take a look at the temperatures over the next several days, keep in mind our average high is 75 degrees here in Springfield. We're going to be looking at highs getting into about the lower and middle 80s for the next stretch of days. So it's going to be a pretty nice uh, week ahead with temperatures getting into the lower and middle 80s. As we take a look at the month of June overall, there are strong probabilities that the deep south is going to be leaning in a warmer than normal direction, whereas here in the northeast, there's really no signals that are going to pull us either way. So we'll call it trending pretty close to normal for the month of June. Now, in terms of precipitation in the month of May, we definitely had a few days where we saw a good soaking up there. Back in the beginning of the month on May 8th, we picked up over an inch of rainfall. Now, keep in mind this data is coming in from Barnes and Westfield. We had another day over on May 16th where we picked up almost an inch. And, of course, the end of the May, month of May, we had that rainy day on Memorial Day. And then early in the morning on Thursday, we had some rain. So, overall, we picked up just under four and a half, four and three quarters inches of rainfall in the month of May. On average, we pick up about three and three quarters inches. So we have about an inch of surplus for the month of May, which is good because, you know, it's nice to enter the summer season with a little bit of a surplus in case we bump into a dry stretch of weather. In terms of the precipitation outlook for the month of June, it looking like the uh, desert southwest is going to be leaning in a drier than normal. Same with the Pacific Northwest. And then as we head into the eastern portions of the country, looking like the Carolinas region, the mid-Atlantic could be leaning a little bit on the wetter side. But again, here in New England, there's really no probabilities or strong signals that are going to pull us in either direction. So we'll probably call it a close to average month of June. Now in the month of June, our average starts off in the middle 70s, but by the end of the month, we're in the middle 80s. So we have a lot of ground to catch up to as we head through the month of June. By the end, we'll be in the middle 80s. Our average low goes from about 51 degrees to about 59 degrees by the end of the month. And we do hit our summer solstice. So we do gain a little bit of some time in the sunset and in the morning, but we start to, you know, lose it towards the end of the month as we head into the second half of the summer where those days start to get a little bit shorter. So June 20th is going to be our summer solstice. Now, our record high for the month of June was on the June 26th, set back in 1952. Our high was 102 degrees and our record low was set back in 1964 with a temperature of 32 degrees. On average, we pick up about four inches of rain in the month of June. Right now on our satellite and radar, though, no rain to speak of, really no clouds either, with tons of sunshine out there as high pressure supplies us with lots of stable air and stable uh, atmosphere out there. Highs today getting into the middle 80s with lots of sunshine. And as we head through the rest of the day today, we're going to see a little bit of a light breeze coming in out of the north northeast. So it'll be a pretty pleasant day out there with a light breeze. As we head into the overnight hours, we'll see a little bit of some cloud cover working in. Same for tomorrow afternoon. We'll start off with a beautiful day with some clouds working by the afternoon. And then as we head into the day on Monday, we have a weak area of low pressure that will pass off to the south, and that gives us the chance for a brief spotty shower. However, most of us will stay dry, and the majority of the day on Monday is dry. And we have a beautiful stretch of weather at least through Wednesday with temperatures in the 80s before shower and thunderstorm chances return to end the week.